Hello friends, today we can discuss this question from the code forces round 636 div 3 problem B balanced array. So in this question you are given that a positive integer n and it is guaranteed that n is even it is divisible by 2. You have to construct an array A of length n such that the first n by 2 elements of A are divisible by 2 and the next n by 2 elements are not divisible by 2 that is they are odd. All the elements of A are distinct and positive, and the first, the sum of the first half equal to the sum of the second half. Okay, so this is the question, and if there are multiple answers, you can print any, and it is not guaranteed that the answer always exists. Okay, so this is the question, and uh, so as you can see in this question, we first fill the first half with the possible even numbers 2, 4. If they are so if there's a possible case of 2 we can start filling it by 2 4 and if there's a possible case of 8 we can 2 4 8, 6 8 but now how do we fill the odd numbers so we can fill the odd numbers in the same way like 1 3 5 but for the last number as we know the sum of these numbers and the sum of these numbers should be equal we first fill it to the n minus 1 th number and we fill the last number which is equal to the sum of this minus the sum of this and if it is odd then it's possible string and if it's not this sequence is not possible so that's this simple constructive algorithm so we can also do the code here uh, the logic here so if the if we have to find it for 8 we, we have 4 places to fill with even numbers so let's do the even series 2 4 6 8 but the sum of this is 10, 20. Now, while filling the other half, we first fill 1 and subtract 1 from it, so 19 is left. Now, then we fill 3. So, if we subtract 3, 16 is left. Now, we fill 5, so 11 is left. Now, for the last case, we have to fill 11. And is 11 an odd number? Yes. So as we have filled this with an odd number, it's possible to fill all the numbers in the sequence and that's the full answer. Okay, so let's write the code. So there are we first have to take t input, then while t minus minus in n and we have to make a vector vector in a of n and uh, we do a for loop of i equal to 0 i less than n by 2 so what we do is we as we know that we have to first fill the half of the elements with even numbers so we first fill the half with even numbers and we also maintain a sum of what is the sum of those even numbers as you have seen there this is the sum of all those even numbers so okay so what we does is a of i is equal to 2 into i plus 1 so like 2 into i because we are starting for i equal to 0 so we are doing this so it is storing all the even numbers and sum plus equal to a of i ok now what we do is we take k equal to 0 and we take a flag to check whether it, this case is possible or not in the end so now we start from i equal to n by 2 i less than equal to n i plus plus and uh, okay if we are at the last index n minus so if i equal to n minus 1 so if we are at the last index what we have to check we have to check if sum the last remaining sum is an odd number if it's odd number we have to push ai equal to sum 
and as we know like this is possible so what we do is we mark the flag as one it means this series is possible okay and then if you're not at this position then if you're not at the last position else what we have to do is because we are filling the odd series what are the odd series we can fill 2 into k plus 1 k plus plus and uh, sum this is used for k to store the values in k minus equal to a of i ok and you come out of the for loop so if we check if if flag is equal to 0 it means that this is not possible so we output no else first we output yes and then we print the series then we give us enter so that's the whole code let's submit it try to run it match it it's perfectly matching so let's submit it let's accept it I hope you understand the logic here if you still have any doubts please mention it in the comment box I will try to identify it as soon as possible Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.